All right, what we have here is one of the ocean swimmer's worst nightmares, a blue bottle or Portuguese man of war. Now these little critters here, they, uh, they're actually uh, made up of four parts or polyps. Um, the two parts that we need to really know about is the float here. And this is what, it's full of air and it sits on top of the water and that's what gets blown around, that's what blows them around in their colonies out there. And then we have the tentacle here, which has got the stinger parts in it. And you might be wondering, how, how am I holding on to this? Um, in fact, your, your fingers, your paws of your fingers are actually quite strong, like the uh, bottoms of your feet. Um, so you can actually touch these tentacles and not have too much of a problem. Um, so these float in to beaches uh, on onshore winds. Um, that's when you'll start seeing them. If you look along the high tide line before you go for a swim, um, you'll see if any have been blown up. And it's a good way to, to see if there's any uh, blue bottles out there. For the most part, you don't have to worry too much about, about blue bottles unless you're an infant or an elderly or you have uh, severe allergies. Um, maybe if you're allergic to, to bees, you might want to be a little bit careful. Um, but otherwise, it's going to give you a, a nasty little sting um, and just be a bit of a pain in the butt, really. Um, so don't be afraid of blue bottles. Um, I'm not afraid of them and uh, they, will, they will get annoying, especially if they come in big clumps. Um, but otherwise, blue bottles uh, something that you have to be aware of but not to be too scared of. All right, so what do you do if you, um, if you get stung by a blue bottle? Well, let's have a look. I'm gonna stick this blue bottle around my leg. Okay, it's got a little bit tricky on me. I've got hairy legs, so it doesn't always stick that well. But if I was to have a blue bottle stuck on me here, what you wanna do is use your fingertips, use your paws, pull the stingers off. Okay, you can get rid of them. Then what you wanna do is come into the seawater here and wash off any of the stingers that might still be on your leg. Okay, then you want to uh, go up to a nice hot shower and run your leg or whichever part of your body has been stung by the blue bottle under hot water for a good amount of time. Now you don't want it to be too hot that it's actually scalding you, but just hot enough that it's relieving the pain uh, and giving you some comfort. Uh, if you do have any problems after that, if you are seeing some other uh, signs and symptoms um, as, a, as a result of having your blue bottle sting, then uh, seek more medical help, seek a doctor and get yourself checked out. But for the most part, the the Sting will die down in a few minutes uh, to an hour and you'll be good to go again.